Hello everyone, today we are going to explore the yellows made with the pigments from PY150 to PY159. So we have PY150, PY151, PY153, PY154 and PY159. There are actually other yellow pigments from 150 to 159 but not all of them are made into paint. The thing about all these yellows is they are all very light fast colors so you cannot go wrong with any of them. So this is Daniel Smith Nickel Azo Yellow PY150 and this is Azo Yellow also from Daniel Smith. This is this can be considered a cool yellow and it's incredibly vibrant. Now this particular color it's from series 3 so it's more expensive. Nickel Azo yellow it's from series 2. Now this yellow reminds me of the yellow t-shirt that I always wear, you know the Adidas one, which I have been wearing for years so that yellow it's incredibly light fast. I'm not sure if this yellow is the same as my uh, t-shirt but it looks very similar. And this is Schmincker's Yellow Orange PY153. Now this pigment has been discontinued so it's incredibly rare to find this pigment nowadays. Dennis Smith used to have this color I mean used to have this pigment and they use it to make their new gumbosh which uh, currently is now using a new formula rather than this single pigment paint. So I'm quite surprised to find this particular tube in my box. And here we have Schmincker Pure Yellow PY154. This can be used as a mid yellow. And lastly we have Windsor & Newton Lemon Yellow Deep PY159. Now this color, this paint, it's more opaque compared to the to the earlier four. And Winston Newton seems to be the only manufacturer that uses this pigment to make um, paint. The swatches have dried very nicely. By the way, I have added some additional swatches that are using some of the pigments from above. So this is Schmincker's Transparent Yellow PY150. This is Schmincker's Erolin Hue PY151, same as Azo Yellow. And these three are PY154, same as Schmincker's Pure Yellow PY154. And for some reason, Daniel Smith, they do not have PY154. Interesting. So out of all these yellows, if you want to have just like one yellow as your primary yellow, you can actually go with uh, Nico Azo Yellow, Azo Yellow or Pure Yellow. These three, they work really well. If you want a warm yellow, um, you can go with PY153. But as mentioned earlier, this pigment has been discontinued. All right, let's mix some secondary colors with um, some of this. All right, what we are trying to find out is whether or not we can get a vibrant green and a vibrant orange by mixing with the yellow. So this is Nickel Azo Yellow with Thalo Blue. This green it does look quite vibrant. We can get a yellow green with more yellow and a more uh, and a cooler green with more blue like a phthalo green and let's see what we can get when we mix it with French ultramarine so this is a warmer green almost like a sap green not as vibrant compared to the earlier mix but it's still a pretty good mix and next we have nickel azo yellow with this cadmium or pyro red. Let's see if we can get a warm orange. I think we can. 
Nickel azo yellow with a cooler red. This looks like a rose color. So it seems like we can get an orange here as well. Not as vibrant compared to this, but still quite good. And next we have azo yellow with phthalo blue. So this is very vibrant. Hazel yellow seems to be a bit cooler. Hazel yellow with French ultramarine. So this green, it's not as vibrant compared to the one with phthalo blue, but it's good. It's still good. Still looks good. Hazel yellow with a warm red. Yes, we can get a nice orange here. Hazel yellow with a cool red. Not as vibrant compared to the left, but still looks good. PY154 with phthalo blue. Once again, we can get a vibrant green. 154 with French ultramarine a slightly muted green just like all the earlier mixes PY 154 with a warm red one fifty four with a cool red PY 153 with a phthalo blue you can see this blue, it's, it's not as vibrant compared to the earlier ones with the cooler yellows. This is with ultramarine. It's almost, um, I mean, green doesn't come to Green is not a color that comes to my mind when I look at this. It's a very muted brown, green, orange. And PY 153 with a warm red. So this is probably going to produce the most vibrant orange. So these are the possible secondary colors you can get with the various yellows. So we have the greens with Nico Azo Yellow PY150, the greens with Azo Yellow, the greens with PY154, and uh, orange with PY150, Nico Azo Yellow, the orange with PY151, Azo Yellow, and the orange with PY154. So you can definitely get vibrant greens, and you can definitely get vibrant orange so these three yellows py150 py151 and py154 they are extremely versatile yellows for mixing secondary colors so you can consider using either one of them as your primary yellow they are really good and light fast these are the possible mixes with new gum bosch so with thalo blue it looks like this this is with ultramarine and this is with a warm red so if I need this to be warmer, I probably need more red. But this, for some reason, doesn't look as uh, vibrant compared to azo yellow and the warm red. Maybe because I use more paint here. And these are the possible mixes with PY159, a slightly opaque color. So the mixes here, they appear to be a bit more washed out and definitely not as vibrant compared to the mixes you saw earlier. And not just that, PY159, the tinting strength is not that high, so you need to use a lot of paint in order to get the intensity of the yellow. So this is not as versatile a yellow compared to the others. The main difference between Nico Azo yellow and the other yellows that I have uh, is this. PY150 looks different when it's concentrated like this versus when it's diluted like this. So you can see the color here, it's deeper. And this is the Daniel Smith version. 
Same applies to the Schmincker version as well. So here you see a lot more paint and this looks different from this. Whereas Azo Yellow, it's uh, the color is very even. All right, let me know in the comment section below if you are using any of these yellows and which one you prefer. I would love to hear from you. I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Before you go, I just want to let you know that I am selling off some excess watercolor paint in half pens like this to make space to get more colors to test and also to make more videos like this. So if you want to help me out, you can check out the list of colors I'm selling from the link in the video description below. Alright, see ya!